Welcome back to the GXW Revolution, as you can see in the ring. Sahara 7 and Dynamite Demon. This will be for the GXW Divas title. I am Humphrey J. DuPont the fourth. We appreciate you joining us here on Fight TV. Dynamite Diva and Sahara 7 locked up. This should be a doozy. Once again, the GXW Divas title on the line. Your referee will be Dan Ray. These two girls waste no time getting at each other. Dan Ray able to break them from the ropes, but I don't think that's something that's going to happen very often if these two get tangled up because they have no love for each other. This match has been brewing for a while. These two have crossed paths for the past couple of years. The Dynamite Diva has got a new attitude. I've got to tell you, it's working well for her. When she had her fans first, cater to the fans second attitude, she was not winning matches. And ever since she put herself first, and catering to her needs first. Dynamite Diva has been well, quite the uptick and he's won many, many matches and finds herself fighting Sahara 7 for the Divas title here. And able to drop a big smack to the face. That's more of a disrespect kind of thing than anything. Sahara 7 with a kick to the gut. Now she's going to give Dynamite Diva a big run and boot to the chest. Shoots Diva across the opposite turnbuckle and comes in with another run and knee to the chest. She's laying the lumber right now. Big boots into the midsection chest area of Dynamite Diva. And she flips Diva out of the corner. And Sahara 7 off to a great start here at the GXW Arena in our Divas title match. Humphrey J. DuPont, the fourth call in the action. Fight TV, bringing it to you. Sahara 7, chin lock, rear chin lock right now. Flying the knee into the back of Dynamite Diva. These are the kind of little things that later in the match. When you try to find that extra gear, these wear down moves like this, you won't find that gear. Because these are the kind of moves that take those extra resolve out of wrestling. Diva able to block the kick, but Sahara 7 able to drop the back of her head with the boot to the back. We get a one count, kind of a sloppy cover, but Diva is nowhere ready to be pinned anyway. Sahara 7 telling her she's this close, but I disagree. Brings Diva up to her feet. Diva, some forearms and punches to the chest area now. Some knees into the midsection. Dynamite Diva. This girl has found herself an attitude that is working very well for her. Don't be, don't be misled. She's dressed in black, but she is now all about herself. Me first. As you can see, this is paying off greatly for her. She goes for the cover, hooks the leg. Referee Dan Ray, a little slow getting over it. One count, I think it would have been a two at best. Diva, able to reverse the fortunes of earlier in the match and find herself on top right now. Big forearm punch to the back of Sahara 7. Diva feeling pretty good about things right now. Big punch. Looks like she's going to try to whip her off the ropes. Slingshot reversal. Oh, nice, nice counter there by Sahara 7. Diva expecting her to come off the Rogue, she went diagonal and caught a surprise Diva with a shot to the face of Diva. Taking a powder here, and uh, I don't blame her. That was a pretty stiff shot. And Sahara 7 is wasting no time. She understands that this is a big match for the belt, and she needs to, if she's got opportunities to get out there and get on top of Diva, that's exactly what she's doing. I encourage this kind of fight. But right now, this is the spot where she may find that Diva is more adapt 
to being comfortable at his diva with her new attitude has really made made it an art form almost of you know beating up people outside the ring beating them up in the ropes anything she can do to get that advantage she's taking full advantage of and right now big stop in the stomach and it's all down to my diva after a short Couple minutes of Sahara 7 grabbing the advantage. There's a big leg drop across the throat. Diva held her count. Once again, a sloppy cover. That's not going to get it done against Sahara 7 or in GXW. This Diva's division is stacked. We have two top females right now in the division are fighting for our Diva's title. Raping Sahara 7 over the middle rope. Diva is able to take the wind out of her there. These chokeholds, same thing, like they'll take extra gears out of you later in the match. All these things are methodical and well thought out and planned by both competitors. Sahara 7 needs to get out of that corner. Diva with the size advantage here is a hard person to move and she looks great tonight. Man, I know the men at home are salivating over these two girls. Oh, big knee to both. I'm not sure what happened there. It looks like Diva might have caught the worst of that. So Sahara 7 caught a, a knee as well, but Diva seems to be riding the pain. It might be in a position where he'll be, excuse me, Dan Ray will be counting both wrestlers. Looks like he's up to four. Both girls trying to rise their feet. It looks like Sahara 7's got a hair full of Diva and Using it to prop her up for a big punch in the face. There's a slap to the neck area from Diva. The Harris 7 wobbles back up and she slaps Diva across the chest. These two are empty in the kitchen sink right now. Diva with a hard slap. These girls are just all about winning this match and full of no give up. The Harris 7 staggering on her feet. Diva trying to get back up. She's up. Kind of a weak right there from seven. A good forearm. Two good forearms from Dynamite Diva. Who seems to found that extra energy right now where both girls were sucking for win. Diva sidewalk slam. This could be it right here. Good cover. One, two. Dan Ray is slow to show up. Diva, I don't blame you for putting your hands up in the air for disgust. Dan Ray was 10 pounds lighter. He would have made that cover. Diva looking like she's setting her up for a neck breaker, and she is. That, that is an impressive follow-up move by Diva. Two, I can't believe Sahara 7 able to count out. That time Dan Ray was in position and actually made a good strong count there, but I am as bewildered as Dean Dynamite Diva as how to Sahara 7 was able to find the ability to get out. But Diva being very smart right here and calculating, she is not giving her an inch to breathe. She realizes the end could be near. She needs to stay all over Sahara 7 right now. 7 with a right and another. These girls just keep finding more resolve and more fight in them somewhere. This is how important this match is to both of them. There is no give up from either competitor. And a big spinning wheel kick has dropped Diva face first on the mat. And Sahara 7 has been in control. Find herself on the mat. Sahara 7 laying it in. Punch after punch. Diva with a kick to the back of the head. These two girls, it is tit for tat here. Dynamite Diva unloading on Sahara 7. Fans are getting their money here tonight. Getting their money's worth at the GXW Arena. Here comes Diva outside. This is again what we were talking about earlier. Since her new attitude has arrived and her new disdain for fans she takes no chances. If there's an opportunity for her to inflict pain, she goes out and does it. But this one's backfired. And Sahara 7 has basically put Diva in the lap of the club. Right into the barrier there. Those are steel barriers and they do not feel good at all. Diva thrown into the Hanover Vipers. I think Seth Jones just about got, got demolished by Dynamite Diva. Looks like Sahara 7 is going to beat her up in front, right in front of the Hanover Vipers when the best 11 new teams in the state of Virginia comes out to the GXW arena quite often. These two are mixing it up. Dan Ray's counting them both. I'm not sure they're aware. This action has gotten out of control, and I think that they don't start paying attention. Somebody's going to roll back in that ring. We're going to have a 10 count on both of them, and that's looking like what's about to happen. Dan Ray has lost control of this match, and the girls have lost control of themselves. 
This match is a count out. Dan Ray calling for the bell. We've got a double count out. He can't separate him. He's not, he's certainly not strong enough. Here comes some help. Senior official Mike D, referee Bill Olsen, and Hornswoggle brother have come to the aid of Dan Ray to separate these two divas. Come on back and join us here on Fight TV. Fight TV for those who speak well. Uh, Dynamite Diva Sarah said, seven. We don't have a winner. Those two are gonna, this is unfinished business. They'll get back together. I'm Humphrey J. The Pump. Thanks for joining us on the revolution. of GXW Wrestling thanking you for visiting our GXW Classic YouTube channel. For more GXW Classic Wrestling action, become a subscriber, like our content, click on the notification bell. Who is your favorite GXW superstar? Promo, event, or happening? Talk to us in the comments below.